And a menu. All right, cool. Let's let's see if we can make a couple things. So let's start with uh, maybe the postcard, right? Because that's a nice idea. That's something that we can do right now um, if we want to to send things to our loved ones or just our friends or whoever. Um, send them a nice little postcard. So if I want to, I can just click on card. So <laughs> um, so over here, it gives you templates. Uh, that are already pre-made and when you hover over them it says free right so those you can use for free so maybe we want to make like I don't know some sort of card to say hi to somebody um, and so you can use uh, this these templates like you could say for example <laughs> a groundhog day card that's interesting um let's do a greeting card okay so these are cards that you can make for people and if you want to you can do like happy father's day and it already uh creates this template for you with all these different elements so if i click on them if i hover over them all of these elements are pre-made and i can expand them i can make them bigger or i can make them smaller I can also double click on this text and I can change it to say something else. So who are we making a card for? Does anybody have a suggestion? We're making a card for Bernie Sanders. <laughs> OK. <laughs> what is the card going to say? <laughs> OK, perfect. Happy Bernie Sanders Day. Um, so one thing you'll notice is that these are all grouped together. It says like D or something. So I can either click and edit these. I can also click and make everything bigger or smaller. And what I can also do is if I don't want all of these things lumped together, I can click up here where it says ungroup. And now these are all individual elements. So you can click and drag them around. So, you know, whatever. What else, other things I can do? So with my text... Um, I can highlight it and I can change the kind of text that I'm using. So if I click over here on the font, I can now choose all of these other different texts. The ones with the crosses next to them, those ones uh, or not crosses, crowns. I'm, I'm awake. Um, the crowns next to them, that means that those cost money. But the ones that don't have crowns next to them are totally free. So we can pick another fun um, font if we wanted to. Um, <laughs> and so let's say now I want to change the color. So I'm highlighting it, but now I can click on the text color over here and I can make it a different color. Um, I can go and even create a new color if I want to. So I can use either hex hexadecimal colors down here, um, or I can just scroll along and pick a color that I really like. Um, the other thing is with these illustration elements, you also can change the color. So if you click on it, you see how this one's green. Well, now I can make it pink or I can make it a lighter pink. Uh, and I can click on this other element. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Um, so, so that's if you use a template. So templates can be fun. You can mess around with them. Um, again, you know, that looks pretty cool. Um, but you can also start completely from scratch. OK, so let's say we just want to get rid of everything. And I've created a custom design. So we're making an, a card for Bernie Sanders and we're starting completely from scratch. So over here on the left hand side, so next to the templates, which you can use, but just be careful because some of them like the I can't escape. That's kind of funny. <laughs> um, that one is is not free. That one is, uh, even though it's appropriate for this moment, it's not free. So you can't use that one. Um, so over here, so there's a couple different things you can do. So you can upload photos of your own in the uploads folder. So if you click and drag, if you have a photo of some kind on your, let's say I have this random photo of Pitbull. <laughs> Um, so I can click and drag that photo and I can put that in, move it around, put it wherever I want. Let's say we want a photo of Bernie Sanders. 
I'm going to go to Google Images. Um, I'm just searching for Bernie Sanders. <laughs> this is funny. Um, okay. So you can click and drag any image that you download off of the internet and you can put that into your image. Um, you can also, if you click and just select the background here, I can change the color of the background. I can also go to uh, over here on the left hand side, I can go to background and I can choose like this background. I don't know. That's pretty cool. These are all free. I don't know why I want like, uh, I don't know. That one's kind of nice. Um, so you can switch around and choose all these different pre-made backgrounds that are pretty cool. Um, and you can also um, take photos that are already here. So let's search for the photos and see what kinds of photos maybe we have access to. Um, does anyone have a suggestion for a thing that we should search for? Okay, potato. So um, there are already photos that exist. So this one, it says free. So there's a free photo of potatoes. So if you notice when I start dragging it over, um, I can apply it to the background or I can apply it to the photo or I can just drag it in by itself like that. But I like it as the background. <laughs> um, okay. So let's go to elements. So now we know how to use photos. We know how to change the background. Now let's go to elements. And over here in elements, um, these are uh, illustrations and drawings that um, you can use, again, for free. Um, so let's search for another kind of thing and see what kind of illustrations they have. So some of the illustrations are of like specific objects and others are more like abstract, like something like this, which I guess you could use to make things look cool somehow, I guess. Um, I like this one. So, oh, so this is a good example. I like this animation or this image, but it shouldn't go over his face. So I'm going to go to position and go to backward, and then I can put it in the back. I can, like, layer it wherever I want it to go. Um, okay, give me an example of, like, uh, some sort of thing that you want me to – to find oh look see over here two guys so there's featured these are all like different illustrations that people have already created there's some really cool stuff here that's free um that's really awesome um these other cool illustrations you can use those for free uh, a lot of abstract cool stuff that you can do here um yeah let's look for a cat so I'm not saying that this final product looks amazing, but <laughs> I'm showing you how you can do all these things. All right, so let's find uh, a cat. So we can go to cat and see what we find. So these are all cats. It looks like these ones are free. Let's try that one. So again, you can resize it. You can move it around. Um, you can put it in the back or in the front. We can have the cat hang out with Bernie Sanders. Maybe instead of holding a microphone, he's holding a cat. I don't know. Or maybe the cat's just hanging out here with him. I don't know. These are very silly things. But the point is, is that you can make decisions about where different elements go and make them bigger, make them smaller, change the colors. So I can even change the colors of this pre-made illustration here. I can change all the colors to whatever I want it to be. I can make the color pink, even though I didn't draw it. Um, okay, so and then underneath elements, so other elements that you might want to check out. So these are cool um, grids. So I'm going to get rid of all this stuff. I'm going to put a grid in here. So a grid is basically a pre-made frame for photos. So in this case, if you have something that you've uploaded, you can actually click and drag them and they'll fit right into the frame. <laughs> I don't know why we have this picture of Bernie Sanders and Pitbull, but it's true. You can you can do that. 
Um, and there are all different types of grids. So I think this is this can be helpful if you want like kind of a template for whatever images you want to drop in later. OK, um, underneath grids, we have shapes. OK, so shapes are cool uh, because you can use those as design elements or you can even use those to create your own images uh, and your own designs. Like for this, I could make this circle, you know, yellow and I could get some other circles here. I could go to other shapes um, and let's just say I want to make little eyes so I can make little eyes by making these smaller. OK. And changing it so it's black. And just like with anything else, you, you can control C or command C and command V for copy and paste. Um, and then if you see these little red, these little pink um, like lines show up and that's to help you like keep everything um, even. So it's all in the same line. All right. And then we need like a smiley face or something. So here's a good one. So this is a sad face or most of, really looks like a cheese doodle here. Um, and it's but it's pre-made and it's upside down. If I want it to smile. I go to this little rotate thing here and now it's a smiley face. And again, I change the color here. All right. So um, there's all sorts of other pre-made shapes that you can really have fun with um, and layer on here uh, with different colors and different whatever. Honestly, whatever you guys want to do, that can even be that can be super creative. That can be somebody's hair. Um, I don't know. You can make it literally whatever you want it to be. That's a cool hair hairstyle, I think. Um, and I can uh, put it in the background, so it looks even more like hair. How about lime green? Awesome. Um, so that's how you can even make your own illustrations using different elements. Um, now let's go to the text. So I already showed you in the templates how you can double click on the text and change it. Um, but now you can actually take like, you know, if you want to add your own heading here, your own text, um, you can choose ahead of time. They have these different sizes. So you can say add a heading and then it's going to be pretty, pretty big or a subheading is going to be smaller. Um, you also have these are like pre styled text. So, you know, if you want to. Oh, and if everyone just noticed, I just did something that I didn't explain. But um, if you want to move a whole bunch of stuff, you can click and drag so that you highlight the whole thing. And then you, that also automatically groups those images so I can make it smaller or bigger. Um, so let's say I like this style, but I don't actually like what it's saying. Um, I can click here, Theo and Kate are having a baby boy. Congratulations, Theo. Um, <laughs> All right, that obviously doesn't look very good, but you can, you can do that. Um, let's just say I want to add some basic text. Again, like, I don't even know. There's so many. The thing is, is that there's so many options here. I, I, even I'm just, like, getting overwhelmed with all the things you can do. All right. So, for example, like, right here, if you want the potatoes, like, if you want the text to show up better, what you can do is you can go back to elements and you can create, like, a nice little um, box or something for the text to go over. So you can have this be in like the background of Happy Potato Day. And then we can see that here. So there we go. <laughs> um, and then we have, of course, Bernie Sanders. We can't forget Bernie Sanders here. So, um, <laughs> so we just made a very weird postcard. Um, there are, I'm trying to think if there are other things I need to show you guys that are really important. Um, honestly, it's all about experimentation. Oh, 
in elements i forgot about this too you have lines that are already pre-made and you just click see all to see all of them obviously um but if you need arrows or like lines any of these you can make smaller make bigger change the color all that stuff okay um and then the other cool thing that i noticed here <laughs> they have bold foliage and zodiac symbols and all sorts of other cool things um bright food but they also have these um stickers so this is fun um and these are animated so if you download this as a gif you can have the have it be an animated um image <laughs> um so that's pretty much it and again you can go back anytime go back to home and then create a new project um, and you can use a template or you can just say, you know, I want to make an animated social media post um, and just delete everything out of it and just build it from there. But these I used this recently to make an animated post on our Instagram page. These ones are really fun. Um, honestly, Canva is pretty amazing. So um, and again, totally, totally free. My challenge to you guys is to create a, anime, a social media post of some kind, which you can either use a template or you can make it just a square post that is creatively encouraging people to uh, maintain social distancing. So that is my challenge to you. Create uh, a graphic that is encouraging social distancing. And you can use pre-made stuff. You can create your own stuff, whatever it is, okay? We'll talk soon. Take care. Have fun. Try to stay sane. I'll do my best. <laughs> talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>